Hello everyone and welcome to the channel. This is Emad and it's been a long time since my last video because I had to move to another place and reset up the whole YouTube studio from scratch and that took me a very long time. But anyways, please let me know in the comments what do you think about this new setup? Do you like it more or you think the old one was better? Beside the new studio, today I'm going to talk about Android 13 Beta 2.1. I thought at first this update is just bug fixes and performance improvements, but after using it for a while, I spotted new features that I wanted to share with you. Before starting, let me remind you to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon to get notified about my upcoming videos. And now, let's jump in. So let's start with the build number on the 6 Pro. It's 2204142018 and the update size is very small, only 15 megabytes. So let's take a look at what's new. I will start with the performance improvements I gained after installing this build and I'm talking specifically about the 6 Pro because I didn't try this build on any other model and starting with the unlocking experience now it's much easier to unlock the phone under direct sunlight for me it was always a problem to unlock the 6 Pro under direct sunlight it takes two to three times and most of the time I entered the passcode to overcome this issue but now it works much better and it's also faster under normal lighting conditions since the release of Android 13, I see continuous improvements in the unlocking experience of the Pixel 6 and 6 Pro. So hopefully Google will end this problem by the release of Android 13. The second improvement is in the app launching speed. Now it feels slightly faster than before. Also switching between apps is more solid with less lag compared to the previous version of Android 13. In addition to less aggressive RAM management, so the apps doesn't close that frequent compared to the previous versions. Now let's talk about the visual changes and there are some tweaks here and there, starting with the internet tile. When you open it and wait for a few seconds, the network names are now using a smaller font. Also, there is a change in the animation when you tap on Google search inside the app drawer. As you see, the animation starts from the top and slides slowly towards the bottom. But if we're going to compare this to the previous version here on the Pixel 5, when I do the same thing, you will see a different animation. The second new animation is for the now playing feature. Here's a screen recording for my lock screen. And as you see, the music note icon has a new animation that we didn't see before. The widget speaker also got some visual tweaks starting with the conversation widget. Now the preview is smaller compared to the previous version. The newer version is on the left and the Pixel 5 is on the right running the older version. And also when you expand weather, you will see the same thing, smaller weather widgets preview. Talking about widgets, the battery widget also got a couple of new visual tweaks. The first one is the new battery saver icon that appears if you have it activated. And as you see here on my Pixel 5 running the previous version, I have battery saver mode activated, but I don't have the same icon. The second change is the smaller size for the battery widget. As you see here, I can make it that small and this is the smallest size you can get. And this is how it looks if you have three devices connected at the same time. The weather widget also got a very tiny size that looks gorgeous in my opinion. So let me show you how it looks. So this is the new size for the weather widget. As you see, it looks great. And there is also a smaller size that we didn't have before. But if we're going to take a look here on the previous version, this is the smallest one we can get. You can reach the same size from the other weather widget if you make it smaller. So for example, you can make it very small and it will give you the same shape as the other one. Google News and the Keep Notes also got smaller sizes. So let me start with Google News. This is the smallest one you can get. But as you see, the app is not yet optimized for this size. Keep Notes also got the same thing. This is the smallest one we used to have, but now you can make it shorter and even shorter and it looks like a button tapping on it will take you right away to the app and if we're going to compare this to the previous version these are the smallest sizes i managed to get the digital clock widgets also got smaller sizes and here's a quick example to show you the smallest size on each version so overall you will see smaller sizes for most google apps i tried a lot of them and i got the smaller size but some of them are exactly the same as before the last visual change is under battery and then adaptive preferences now the restricted apps are option is listed at the bottom instead of being in the middle. Now let me show you a couple of new features and the first one is related to the dark theme. Now when you tap on a schedule you will see a new option here called turns on at bedtime and if you take a look at the tile itself it will say the same thing on at bedtime. The second feature I'm going to show you might not be related to this build specifically but I only got it after installing Android 13 beta 2.1. Now when you tap and hold on your at a glance and then go to its settings, you will see a new switch here called flashlight. 
When you turn on the toggle and then activate the flashlight, you will see here a quick shortcut that will allow you to turn it off immediately. And that will also act as a reminder for you in case you forgot it active. Once you tap on it, it will turn off the flash and also revert back to the normal information. Now let's talk about the bugs I spotted after installing this build. And the first one is in the picture in picture window. So for example, when you play a video from YouTube and then activate picture in picture and then tap on the headset icon, as you see, the screen will become dimmer for some reason. And when you open the YouTube app again, everything will be back to normal. The second bug is related to the Pixel 6 models. And if you have the always on display activated and then press the power button, wait for a few seconds, you will see the always on display will flash briefly. And once it happens, the fingerprint sensor will not work. As you see here, tapping on it doesn't do anything. In this case, I need to press the power button first to be able to unlock the device. So that's pretty much it for today. Those are all the new changes I wanted to share with you today. Please let me know in the comments if I missed anything. But for now, thank you so much for watching and see you in the next video.